What's up everybody, it's AJA. Let me show you right quick how to um, copy a pattern right quick. How to maybe copy a kit, copy a pattern, copy a song. It all works the same in a lot of uh, different regards. So let me show you that right quick. Let's click on the pattern button here. You see all my patterns that I got. All the factory patterns here. It's like pick DJ 5 or something like that. You know what I'm saying? Boom. Ch -ch 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 yeah, Ch -ch -ch yeah. Uh -uh -uh. So let's say I wanted to edit that pattern, but I don't want I want to keep the original the way it is. Okay, well I need a copy. So what do I have to do? I click the copy button, insert copy. I can name it something different, DJ50, copy, whatever is fine. Click OK. And now I can edit that. You know what I'm saying? I can change the beat on it. Let's say I can go here and I don't even know what's on this one. Let's see here. Alright, so let's say I wanna change that drum beat right there. I just sit here and I'm gonna hit record and play. like that. Now I edited that pattern, right? And I could save that. And it saved as DJ50 copy. And I could rename it anything I want. I could call it blah blah blah. Blah blah blah. Copy. And then hit OK. And now under patterns that blah 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 copy it's right here. So anytime I want to do anything else to it, I got it. And if I go back to factory, DJ50 still plays just like it always did. And the same thing works for kits. I can pick a kit that I want. And I want I can't. If I want to keep the original the same way it was, I can just hit copy, copy, make my changes, do whatever I want to.